And sometimes in my bunk bed, I start thinking, maybe a fiend sneaked into my lower bunk and he's sniffing around for a boy to eat. And I'm the boy that he's sniffing, and my mama says, no fiends have sneaked in here. But if you take a look, that's a fiend. And it's obviously got a pig hat, and the hat is looking at me too. Not me, but the little kid. And I'd be creeped out just because this teddy bear is looking at it. Like the teddy bear is alive, and it just watches you all night. That's creepy too. But why did she scold me for leaving my skates on the sidewalk? Those were Anthony's skates. I remembered to put mine away. And once, she said I hadn't flushed. And it was Alexander's. So, sometimes even mamas make mistakes. Look, if you live in a house where someone's not flushing the toilet, you need to bring that up to them. It's very important. This is just for the kids. Your parents are probably in the closet right now, so I'm letting you know. If someone's not flushing, that's filthy. The only thing you need to learn to do in this life is wipe your ass and people will take you serious. If you can't do that, you might as well be angel living in the woods or gutter punks or something. Junkies. <clears throat> My mama says that an old white ghost who goes who from a hole in his mouth isn't who 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 in, in my closet, which is weird. Maybe the ghost got a question. Maybe he wants to know who you are. You're in his house. I mean, obviously he died before he got to your closet. You know, you little kids sound like jerks. That's all I'm saying. Are you asleep yet? No, shut up. This morning though, she made me wear my boots and then it didn't even rain or even drizzle. And once I asked her for a chocolate nut and she brought back rum raisin, so, Sometimes even mamas make mistakes. My mama says that a zombie with his eyes rolled back in his head and his arms out stiff and his skin as cold as ice isn't clunking up and up the stairs. Well, first of all, I take offense to that. I don't walk around with my arms out. That's a stereotype. And you kids need to learn about that. Wake up. But how can I believe her when she told me Holly's middle name was Susan and Holly's middle name is really Jane. And once she said I wasn't when I told her I was going to be car sick. So sometimes even mamas make mistakes. <laughs> Puked all over her hair, I bet. You know, sometimes you should listen to your kids. Not right now though, let them watch my show. I'm a role model. And sometimes in the dark, a demon is switching his spidery tail and waiting, waiting for someone. Who could it be? And he's laughing a hit and a ha and a hit, which could give someone goosebumps in summer. He isn't there, my mama says to me. But how does she know? Well, she still doesn't know how to drive me to Christopher's house without getting us lost on the way. She tells me, zip your jacket up, but she can't zip it either. So sometimes even mamas make mistakes. And I'm sure I've seen a goblin slinking out of my dresser drawer with a sack on his back to take me to gobliny lands where boys and girls eat Brussels sprouts and never get a birthday. Oh no, you haven't, mom always says. But Monday, Mama said she put my crayons on the shelf. Just use your eyes, she said. And you'll find them. Well, I can't. You can. I can't. You can. I can't. All right. I'll find them, she said not very nicely. But guess what? She couldn't too. So sometimes even Mamas make mistakes. My mama says that a creature isn't reaching out his hand to pinch me or squinch me or push me or squish me or... Well, sometimes even mamas make mistakes. He's like this big pillow guy. He's like strangling this little kid. Oh, what's this? But sometimes they don't. It's hard in a blanket. That's, that's the end. No killing, nobody died.
I don't even see any resolution in this story. Basically, the kid talks shit about his mom for like 40 pages. Just go to bed. Go to sleep. Check in another episode of Johnny Helpless. Put your kids to sleep. By the way, your friend's kid story sucks. Thank you.